touches his hour kingdom. Wow! A king's time as ruler rises and falls like the sun. One day, Simba, the sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as the new king. And this will all be mine? Everything. Everything the light touches. What about that shadowy place over there? That's beyond our borders. You must never go there. But I thought a king could do whatever he wants. Well, there's a lot more of being a king than getting your way all the time. Dad, what are those birds over there? They're buzzards. They're scary. Why don't you chase them away? I don't have to. They're doing what they're supposed to do. You see, everything exists in a delicate balance. As king, you need to understand that balance and respect all creatures, from the crawling ant to the leaping antelope. But Dad, don't we eat antelope? Yes, but when we die, our bodies become the grass, and the antelope eat the grass. Everything is connected in the great circle of life. Sire, where are you, sire? Good morning, Zazu. Sire, there you are, urgent news, hyenas in the pine lands. Zazu takes him home. Ah, uh, Dad, can I come? No, son. I never get to go anywhere. Oh, good master, one day you will be king. Then you can chase away those slobbery, mangy, stupid poachers from dawn until dusk.
attention. My words are romantic and bright. It's clear from your with your dad. Come here, you. Dad, we're pals, right? Right. And always be together, right? Oh, 
No, not yet. Can't I just pick off one of the little sick ones? No, you know the plan. <laughs> Keep it. 
know where. Gee, he looks blue. I'd say he's brown or gold. No, no, I mean he's depressed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
And there's much more you haven't seen yet. Simba, I don't understand. You've been alive all this time. Why didn't you come back to Pride Rock? And leave Paradise? Simba, Scar let the hyenas take over the Pride Land. What? Everything's destroyed. There's no food, no water. If we go back together, we can do something about it. I can't go back. Why? It doesn't matter. Hakuna Matata. What? Hakuna Matata. It's something I learned out here. Look, sometimes bad things happen and you just can't do anything about them. So why worry? What's happened to you? You're not the Simba I remember. Maybe I'm not. Are you satisfied? No, just disappointed. You know, you're really beginning to sound like my father. Good, at least one of us does. She's wrong. I can't go back. What will it prove anyway? It won't change anything. <laughs> will you cut it out? Can't cut it out. It'll grow right back. <laughs> who are you? The question is, who are you? I used to know, but now I'm not so sure. I know who you are. You're Mufasa's boy. You knew my father? Correction. I know your father. I hate to tell you this, but he died a long time ago. Nope. Wrong again. He's alive. I show him to you. Look down there. That's not my father. This is just my reflection. Look harder.
There's your hunting party. They're not doing their job. Scar, there's no food. The herds have moved on. We must leave Pride Rock. We're not going anywhere. Then you are sentencing us to death. So be it. If you were half the King Mufasa was, I'm the King Mufasa. No, Scar. Mufasa? Mufasa? No, it can't be. You're dead. It's okay, Mom. It's me. Simba, you're alive. How could that be? It doesn't matter. I'm home. Simba, I'm a little surprised to see you. Alive? Give me one good reason why I should rip you apart. Simba, 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 you must understand the pressures of ruling a kingdom. Are no longer yours. Step down, Scar. Oh, well, I would, naturally. But there's one little problem. You see that? They all well, we don't. Simba is rightful king. Oh, uh, look, the cat came back. The choice is yours, Scar. You must step down and fight. Must this all end in violence? I'd hate to be responsible for the death of a family member. Wouldn't you agree, Simba? What is he talking about? You haven't told them your faithful subjects a little secret. Well, Simba, now's your chance. Tell them who's responsible for Mufasa's death. I am. No, tell me it's not true. It's he, the truth. He admits it. Murder. No, it was an accident. If it weren't for you, Mufasa would still be alive. It's your fault he's dead. Do you deny it? No. Then you're guilty. No, I'm not a murderer. Simba, you're in trouble again. But this time, Daddy isn't here to save you. But here's my little secret. You. No! No, Simba, please! You don't deserve to live. Have mercy, please, I beg you. Tell them the truth. I killed Mufasa. You're the murderer. But Simba, I'm, I'm family. You wouldn't want to kill your own uncle, would you? No, Scar, I'm not like you. Oh, thank you. Tell me, how can I make it up to you? Anything. Run. Run away, Scar. Run away and never return. As you wish, your majesty. Ha! Ah, my friends, my enemies, help me! Friends? Friends? I thought he said you were the enemy. That's what I heard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me explain. No! <laughs>
at the director? Hi, on behalf of the Lion King team, I would like to thank all of you for coming to our performances. This has been an incredible experience. I can't believe how amazing you all were, now that we didn't expect it. All 55 of them, I thought they did an amazing job. I want to thank the parents for being so patient, especially this last week, the Tech Week. But it showed today, this afternoon, last night. It's been several months of doing this. It's been incredible. We're going to miss you sixth graders, but I'm really looking forward to next year's play with the fifth graders. I also have to thank everybody who made this possible. This is a huge effort to make, and it takes countless hours. We had. We are so fortunate to have so many families and volunteers to help us put this together. I also need to thank a few of our crew members. A few of them are not here, like our choreographer, Bretlin Schmidt. She did an amazing job. Our lighting was done by Ryan Linhart. He did an amazing job setting this up as well. I would like to thank the booth and Mr. Ryan White. And Chris, Chris Rushman on the sound. And I'd like to call a few other people on stage that are here, like our stage directors. Please may we have Marissa Delgado and Tyler Thorson. Music director, Mrs. Wheeler, Debbie Wheeler, thank you so much for coming up. And most importantly, we could not have done this fine production without our fanta fantastic, completely, extremely talented director, Miss Lisa Slay.